Do you hate wasps? Have you had a bad experience with wasps as a kid or as an adult? Are you allergic to their sting? Wasps are actually a great indicator of... Have you ever wondered why you have any wasps? Or what they're doing? It may be hard to imagine that they're doing any good, but oh yes they are. Maybe your fruit tree, or rose bush even, is filled with caterpillars. To a wasp? That is a buffet. You may try to get rid of the caterpillars, or even get rid of the wasps. And if you do, both of them will be back. There's still food for the caterpillar, and then there's still food for the wasp because wasps love to eat caterpillars. The most common wasps you'll see are the social wasps, things like yellow jackets and hornets. And the first indicator is that there is food available for adults. You say, why are they coming for my food? They're so pesky, I hate them. Well, the adults drink nectar. They drink sweet things, things like fruit juices and uh, fruit. That's what they're after. To them, sugars are an energy source. That gets them to be able to power on to do what else they have to do in that day. Have you ever seen a wasp chewing wood? You think, well, what is he doing? Maybe you haven't. But if you ever notice a wasp and dry wood, it's got to be an old branch or a dry piece of branch, and they'll chew pieces of the wood to make their nest. And there's social wasps and there's even solitary wasps that use that to make a paper nest. That's a good clue. That's a great indicator that there is a wasp nest nearby or many wasp nests. So if you see them chewing wood, you may need to look around and see where is that nest. But you say they're also coming for my sandwich, my burger or my steak. That's a good observation. They are eating meat. Now that's when wasps indicate that not only did they have a nest, but now they have young to feed. Young wasps need protein, like most young need protein. Protein is not in the sugars, is not in the fruit. That's the adult's energy. Protein is for feeding their young. But naturally, they're not looking around for steaks or burgers. They will take advantage of it. They're looking for their favorite food, which is caterpillars. And the neat thing about caterpillars is that the bigger the caterpillar, the bigger the wasp. A wasp will generally carry a caterpillar that's its same size. So if you see a wasp coming for your steak, then realize, hey, you know what? There is a nest nearby and it's a growing nest and they're feeding some young. That's a good thing because they're also feeding on caterpillars in your surroundings. But you say, oh, but I don't want the wasps. Well, then what you should focus on is not not wanting wasps. It's on how to make the plants so healthy that they don't attract caterpillars, their favorite food. So focus on getting your plants really healthy and no caterpillars, no food for the wasps. They may still come for your burger, but that's just a bonus for them. If you want to learn more about how you can work with nature rather than against it, check out our Nature's Allies course at permaculture.study to start today for free. Why are there wasps wanting to nest under my roof, on the eaves? They are indicating that there is a dry spot available. That's all they need. Someplace dry, material to gather in the form of dry wood, some flowers to feed them, and some meat, hopefully in the form of caterpillars, to feed the adults. Once you have that, you have all the ingredients to attract more wasps. Because in the end, isn't that what you really want? More wasps! <laughs>